Time for you to disappear, Iblis Trigger! Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the latest part of the Sonic 2006 Let's Play. And now it's time to face after Silver the Hedgehog. It's no use! And you're going to be hearing that a lot throughout the course of the battle on your first attempt. Now, the biggest, the biggest pain in the ass with no Silver the Hedgehog use. is that if you come anywhere close to him, he will grab you with his psychokinesis and launch you very far backwards. The impact will obviously take your rings. However, if you approach him from above, not only will he catch you in mid-air, he will toss you up to the sky where the sky will then damage you. You'll fall down, and before you can hit the floor, Silver will grab you again, toss you up into the sky, and kill you as a result. That's one of the most annoying parts of this battle on your first attempt. Because now that you establish that you don't want to go anywhere near him because he can grab you from any point, then you know, you're not exactly sure how to attack him efficiently. Well, the only way you can get some damage out of him is you have to run around long enough, wait for him to say, How about this? Then he'll start, you know, he'll grab, that's when he's grabbing his the environment around him, you know, chairs, barrels, crates, and all of that. That's your chance to attack him. You can either do the homing attack or you can use the slide kick. Personally, if you want to be a little more accurate, I'd recommend the homing attack, but I, I, I'm telling you right now, the moment you homing attack him, Homa attack away from him, because if you're too slow on the uptake, he will recover fast enough and grab you with his psychokinesis, and you will, you know, you'll get hurt or die if you don't have any rings. It is one of the most annoying parts of the game. It's actually one of the most infamous parts of the game, because, you know, everything is just, everything about it is just so annoying. You know, it's the, it's no use when he grabs you or, you know, and the camera is not really helping you in the slightest either, but, ugh. Hey! Ha! Oh, shit! <sighs> Is this a joke? How could someone like you cause the destruction of our world? And she didn't hear that. Mean. It doesn't matter. For the sake of the future, the Iblis trigger must be destroyed. Elise? Wait! Ha! Ugh. Don't you dare turn your back on me! It's time I finally put an end to this! Stop! Amy? Get out of my way, Amy! This is my mission! Absolutely not! Uh. Thanks, Amy. I appreciate it. He just leaves her with the telekinetic psychopath. <laughs> he, uh, wh why? I mean, you, you see the princess is you're too far away to do anything at this point. Why bother chasing after her? Have you remembered Wave Ocean? She got too far enough to the point where you came back to the hub world in the first place. You didn't. What do you think you're. Why did you leave? Anyway, time for a side mission. Yes, uh, just a quick forewarning. Uh, uh, I hope you guys brought some popcorn or beer along with you, whatever the hell you drink. This part is pretty much nothing but side missions. You guys wanted me to play it? I'm gonna play the fuck out of it. I'm going to be doing every single side mission for each character. So, yeah. With that said, this is the Soliana Boys side mission. If you're familiar with the Bomber Secret Society of Justice from Zelda Majora's Mask, it's pretty much the same goddamn thing. The six Soliana Boys are scattered throughout the entire hub world and you have a time limit to find them all. Now, uh, contrary to popular belief, uh, the boys' locations are not randomized. They're actually in set paths. You know, they're always, like, this one boy is always here with all these pillars that'll fuck up your camera. You know, there's one near uh, the bell towers. There's one near the uh, the entryway to New City. All that shit, yeah. So, they're, yeah, they're always in a set uh, place. You know, it's never randomized. They're always going to be there. So, you know, if you always want the Path to Town mission, you know, just watch this and... Then you should be able to S rank the mission with ease. <clears throat> and why do they sound like dogs when I tag them? <laughs> like, shit, I didn't think he was actually gonna catch us. It's, it's, it's actually, uh, a lot of people that I know uh, who are talking about this side mission in particular actually wait until they get one of the uh, upgrades you can buy from the shop to slow down time. And if you look closely at all the boys' faces, it's the exact same fucking model. I mean, yeah, the hair's different, but it's the it's the exact same boy's model. I mean, granted, 
The Bomber Secret Society of Justice and Majora's Mask did the same thing, but at least that has the excuse of being an N64 game. This is the game released for the Xbox 360. You couldn't at least made like two or three more children models, you know, to spruce up the, the, the diversity of it. But anyway, there's still more to do in this uh, town before we head over to the next hub world. And yes, there is more than one. This is the Find the Beloved Dog Town mission, you know, Pele, uh, Pele's the dog we're looking for. The kid knows exactly where the dog is, but he's sending us to get it because, well, I'm guessing the kid's just a lazy dipshit. I mean, really, I mean, the dog's right here. Was it so was it so hard to cross over this bridge and just get the dog? I mean, it's not like the dog is afraid of anything. It's following me just fine. Well, anyway, this is pretty much the majority of the town mission. You're just walking this dog. Usually, I like to think that each side mission is... You know, teaching you something about the game's controls or getting you used to a certain mechanic. But there's nothing memorable about this town mission whatsoever. I mean, what's the point of this one? You're just walking a dog. Granted, I like the music, but what is the point? In order to get the S rank for this one, you have about a minute to get the dog to the kid. I forgot the kid's name. I really don't give a shit. Here's your dog, you stupid, lazy-ass, thriller jacket-wearing... Pinto, that's his name. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. you. Another sound, uh, another town mission done with. But there's still more to do. Ugh. So, um... Anyway, I was getting into, uh, I know, um... In terms of the, uh, the silver boss battle fight, I know a lot of you, uh, were hoping that I'd showcase, you know, just how much of a glitchy mess the silver battle can get, you know, you know, Getting Sonic in a specific position to have Silver toss you past the invisible wall, getting him to launch you to the moon because you're out of the boundaries. I, you know, like I mentioned earlier in the previous video, um, I'm playing the game to the best of my ability, so I'm not, I'm not going to play the game, uh, you know, badly on purpose just to rub in the fact of how piss poor this game is. I mean, it's a really bad game. Don't get me wrong, but you know, when you're in, in a, a in your typical playthrough, you're not gonna go. You're not gonna get thrown past the invisible wall by Silver. You're not gonna. You're not gonna get shot to the moon by Silver. You're not gonna glitch through anything. It has never happened to me during my first playthrough. And uh, what a what a waste of fucking time. Anyway, for those of you for those of you curious, that town mission, if you can call it that, is that in order to get to the next part of the hub world, New City, the lieutenant. I want you to guess who the captain is. This is Soliana's police force at work here, ladies and gentlemen. Sonic, Instead of can you hear me? Knuckles wants to see you. Head to the town's warehouse. Yeah, you know, anyway, what I was saying. You know, instead of spending spending you know uh, instead of spending card worn taxpayers' dollars to find the princess that was kidnapped, you know, that's your ruler, that's your leader of this city. You wanna waste fucking time by having a hedgehog guess who the real captain is and and in actuality, it's the guy that you're talking to in the first place. It's such an enormous waste of time. It is one of the most stupidest side missions ever in a Sonic game. And with that said, here's another one. Uh, this is the host. This is a uh, the Festival of the Rings side mission. In this one, you're really just breaking boxes and uh, watching them defy gravity as such, and wait for them. Oh, come on, land, land. There you go. You know, you're, you're breaking boxes and you're collecting rings. In this one, you have to. Um, you have to look for a stack of boxes such as that, and you have to break the box on top, the one with a star on it, in order for rings to appear. When you break that box, the other one uh, uh, spontaneously pops in near it, or, you know, you can get ring capsules such as this. Uh, it's always a, a set path, you know, you have to destroy one particular box before another particular box shows up. And you have to destroy the one with the star on it, otherwise the other one won't appear. But other than that, you're really just, you know, you're just collecting rings. That's all you're doing. You know, you're seeing the Havoc's physics and you know the physics engine working its wonders with all the pieces of shrapnel, you know, boxes ignoring gravity at will, and that's really all you're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's all Sonic says, by the way, when you you know you get a capsule. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, these particular rings, you do have to collect all of them in order for the other boxes to appear. Yeah, it, it, I don't really get how that works because usually with the other, with the uh, the stack of crates, you can. The only thing you have to do for the other box to appear is to you know destroy the one with the star on it. But you don't necessarily have to collect all the rings in the box. You just have to, you know, destroy the box. And and these set of rings, you have to collect all of them in order for the box to appear. And there it is, right there. I ran into the wall. That's why I spontaneously disappeared like that for a second. 
but anyway, you know, I'm playing all the side missions, you know. I, I plan on getting that, uh, whatever the hell that achievement is at the end, with the one where you get all the side missions done, you know, because I want to show it off, you know. Like I said earlier, you know, I'm playing the, I'm playing the hell out of the game, I want to show up as much as I can, but I'm not going after all the silver medals. Fuck you to anyone who thinks I'm doing that, you're out of your goddamn mind. I'm not doing that because it is the most pointless thing you can do in this game. You get nothing for it. Yeah, uh, granted, you do get a gold medal for collecting all the silver medals, but the gold medals in themselves do nothing. Besides getting an achievement, with that's something that's not even related to the game in itself, you get nothing for collecting all the gold emblems. You just... Bragging rights. That's it. Bragging rights in this game is the equivalent of shit. Don't bother. That was incredible. And again, what's to blame? The game's rush schedule? The, you know... The overall structure of the game, I don't know, I don't know what to blame, but in the end, it's just shit. You know, it's not like the other games where you can collect all the emblems, you know, Sonic Adventure DX, you got the cool Metal Sonic skin, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, you know, you get a faithful replica of Green Hill Zone, all those cool little unlockables for like the mini carts, the, uh, the alternate costumes, all that jazz. In this game, shit. You get shit. But, moving on, another side mission to do. We now have to... Save the company's data that has been kidnapped by Eggman's mechs. Because the company doesn't believe in servers in a disclosed area. No, they carry all the company's data in three fucking floppy disks. That's that's wonderful security. I just look, I don't know I don't know who the hell told you that was such a good idea, but you deserve everything that happens to you. <laughs> uh, it's also in this side mission that we're introduced to enemies that have much larger health bars. And I just want to say that I fucking hate Sonic Heroes for introducing the concept of enemies with health bars. Granted, in Sonic Heroes, you know, you can always switch to the power character, you know, Knuckles, Omega, uh, Vector, and Big, to take care of the enemies faster because they do more damage. But in a game like this, where you only have Sonic to rely on, you just mash in the A button over and over again. It just, because... For, the, for, the, for a while, you're only going to have the homing attack to kill uh, big enemies. Later on, we will be getting the bounce bracelet, which, that's, which definitely makes killing bigger enemies more comforting. But it's still repetitive and just... That was incredible. It's just boring. It's really boring, you know? Sonic the Hedgehog is not a fighter. He's just he's a hedgehog who usually kills enemies by bouncing on enemies once or spin dashing right through them. So, since Sonic can't do any of that, he has to rely on hitting the A button six goddamn times before the enemy just gives up on life. But anyway, that's all we can do now for this hub world. So, you talk to the guard, say it's business, it's strictly business here, stay away, jump over the asshole, and we will continue on to where we're gonna meet Knuckles. Okay, well, before, we, well, before that, we have to fight more mechs. I mean, granted, I know these mechs are Eggman's only line of defense. You know, it's not like in the old days where he himself would go after you to take care of business, you know, and using more and more exotic ways to try and defeat Sonic, but this is just the same shit over and over again. I mean, this is not even a this is not even a side mission. You, 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 you don't get anything for this. You just... I think you don't get anything for this. I do? I don't, are you ranked after this? I'm not exactly sure. But anyway... Another thing that I want to get into is that this is the place where you're meeting Tails and Knuckles to advance the story. With that said, where are Tails and Knuckles, and why aren't they helping me take care of these robots? Are they just standing by behind one of these pillows, watching the action go by, you know, secretly cheering me on, or are they just not here yet? And if that's the case, why the hell did they tell me to meet in the warehouse to begin with if you're not already there? Uh, uh I don't know. But, you know, we're just we're killing more of the same robots. You know. Just homing attack for the win, just, you know, hit the A button repeated an amount of times, that's about it. And these guys in particular, I think you're better off using the slide kick when you're like, you know, huddled up like that, you know, just to get things out of the way faster. But, you know, homing attack still doesn't hurt, except for these guys where it's just really repetitive. And these guys actually do have defensive properties, they're like, they spread their, their wings and suddenly their defense, they, they become invincible for a, a few seconds. Okay, so we are timed after that. And because I didn't use the homing attack enough, I guess, I didn't get the S rank, but I still got a thousand rings, so we at least have that. Oh, I'm sorry, the cutscene doesn't immediately begin, we have to walk towards them. 
Knuckles. I saw Eggman on the outskirts of the city. He wanted me to give this to you. Sonic the Hedgehog. If you want me to return the princess, you must give me your Chaos Emerald. His lips aren't moving. Meet me at my base in White Acropolis. Huh. He's pretty cocky. It's most definitely a trap. I don't think Eggman will honor his agreement. I'm going. Sonic? Since Eggman went to the trouble of telling me where Elise is, I think I should thank him personally. I really hate how shadows are rendered in this game. I, it bothers the fuck out of me. But anyway, next part, we're heading into Eggman's base to White Acropolis. So until then, see you next time.